dear gate aspirants a grand welcome to veda gate academy a one shot winning strategy to crack gate 2022 examination through our program gate achiever before getting into main details of gate achiever let me ask one simple question dears what is engineering simple question sir what is engineering normally student used to answer like this sir engineering ante attendance lab exams mid exams main exams and the paper certificate fate bond a campus placement if not training at amir pet rendu work avagapothe america lo higher education in the simple engineering ante for the same question a student from top university has answered in a scientific interview like this so science is the best way to understand the nature engineering is the best way to understand one kind of science in the classroom we understand engineering with the help of what mathematics physics and logics experimenting in the labs exercising on the projects reaching the industry for what to meet the requirements of the human community and chepadu professor without asking any question seat given to him 2017 december motorola company visited that campus recruited eight students out of 12 am students he is one among them and the package offered to him is 63.8 lakhs per annum come on sir what is the package 63.8 lakhs per annum hope you understood sir so let me ask one more question any vehicle before you choose for a journey first you select what destination then the vehicle right almost 4 years before you have chosen engineering as your vehicle for the life destination correct 100% of the journey is completed for you now i am asking you the question what is your destination sir by the end of engineering an unsecured low package service based software job in the hand or a high secured high package product based core job in the hand what should be your destination dears obviously high secured high package core job right do you have plan for working at dears no did you begin your journey partially can you assure your reachability sir almost silent sir we know what to do but we don't know how to do some say sir we know how to do but we have not yet begin our journey some say sir we have begin our journey but we are not sure about the reachabilities ila half of completions kaakunda can i see the hands who has completed everything sir we know what to do we know how to do we have begin our journey and we assure our reachability can i see the hands blank as a faculty shall i give the reason for your silence shall i yes day when the college opened day when the first semester was done day when the first lab was done aa roju mana preparation spirit se vidhanga unnai repay main exam ante ivalla mana preparation spirit se vidhanga unnai are they both same your smile is giving the answer is that not the reason for our silence marks kosam chadive vallu days count cheskon chadutar agree quality kosam chadive vallu daily chadutar agree sir marks kosame chadite how we get the real time analysis sir radema when you don't have the real time analysis how we can expect real time opportunities obviously no finally at the end of engineering we are still left like the raw materials but not the finished goods that is the reason why core companies are nowhere entering into campuses from recruitments truly sir almost under the btech ip have you heard about any core companies coming to colleges from recruitments definitely no sir we have completed the btech now we are entering into real life of engineering correct yes before getting into that shall we have a small analysis let us draw a graph between age versus salary sir let us draw a graph between age versus salary so by the age of 22 years we are going to complete our btech correct come on right so at the age of 20 years we are going to complete our btech by the age of say 22 to 25 student used to struggle to get into settlement let us say by the age of 25 student got selected into a company where his monthly salary is 25000 per month happy or not at the age of 25 sir getting 25000 per month right so student has worked a lot for the 5 years 25 years to 30 years 5 years he worked a lot he has put all his efforts in the company say his salary has increased it to 100% sir usually the increments will be hardly 20% 30% years okay in this 5 year span let us say his salary has increased it to 100% means 
by the age of 30 years, his salary is going to be 50,000 per month. Happy or not? He is happy. His parents are happy. They want to make him more and more happy. For that, they will get into marriage proposals. Sir, earlier you are only one. Now you are one plus one, two. 50,000 by two. What is your monthly salary, sir? It is again the same 25,000 per month. Right. 30 to 33, yes, sir. Yes, say. Let us, have, let us say his salary has increased it to 75,000 per month. Happy D, yes, very good. 75,000 per month. Sir, earlier only two. Now two plus one. Your child will come out. 75,000 by three. What is your monthly salary, DS? Yes. It is again 25,000 per month. Let us say by the age of 35 years, your salary has increased to 1 lakh per month. Your salary has increased to 1 lakh per month, DS. Yes. Happy or not? Yes. Earlier your three. Now one more output will come out. 1 lakh by four. What is your monthly salary, DS? Yes. 25,000 per month. 25,000 per month. It is same. Sir, by the age of 40, let us take by the age of 40 years. Say your salary has increased to 1.5 lakh per month. Earlier you are 4. Now 2 more will come out. Who are those two, sir? Who are those two? Father and mother. 4 plus 2. Yes. What is the salary? Yes. Again, 25,000 per month. Now tell me, sir. At the age of 40 years, 25,000 per month. Is it, is it sufficient? Is it sufficient? Yes. Obviously, no, right? Come on, sir. Is it sufficient or not sufficient? At the age of 40 years. Don't think now. At the age of 40 years, please. Right. Now tell me, sir, a small question to you. You are starting with 25,000 per month. Means, is it a core job or non-core job? Obviously, non-core job. Do you have any job security there? No job security, yes. Yes. Now let us change this graph like this. Suppose if you have started with 1 lakh per month by the age of 25. Sir, please observe. I am not saying at the age of 22 years. I am not saying at the age of 22 years. By the age of 25 years. Suppose if you have started with 1 lakh per month. Now see how your salary increases. If you go with the same increment style, how your graph increases. Now please answer this question. Getting 25,000 per month. Non-core job. Getting 1 lakh per month. Is it core job or non-core, sir? Obviously, it's a core job, dears. Once it's a core job, you have job security. Come on, sir. You have job security or not? Yes. Sir, usually, students used to do this mistake. They used to realize at this age, 30 to 33 years of age, whatever the salary they are getting, it won't be sufficient, dears. And they will be looking for second source of income. Sir, 30 to 33 years, your father's age will be some 60 plus. At that age, they may not be in your position to support you, yes. Correct or not? Correct or not? Yes, they may not be in your position to support you. But at the age of 22, 25 years, they will be in your position to support you. Correct or not? So, what I am saying finally is, at the age of 22 years, your B.Tech is going to be completed. You will be having 23 years, 24 years, 25. You will be having 3 years full of time in your hand. 3 full years in your hand to get into Perfect settlement, yes. This is what I am suggesting you. Okay, right. So, you will be having three full years in your hand. Please work for these three full years. For first year, if you are not getting success. Second year, still if you are not getting success. Third year, three full years. If you work on the same course, you will get into success. The dedication is required, dears. Okay, right. So, finally, to get into core job, what we have to do. Now, let me enter into our program. Gate Achiever Program, dears. So, in the Gate Achiever Program, these are what the highlights of our program, dears. 10 subjects with the 10 faculties in your hand. 4 to 5 months, of course, with 400 to 500 scheduled classes. Just work for 6 to 8 hours per day with 600 to 800 hours to complete the course. Just 600 to 800 hours to complete the course, dears. Is it getting right? Right. Next, 2000 plus CRQ. CRQs means concept revision questions. So, daily for whatever the topic that is done, on the same day, you will get practice questions. No need to search for any textbook for the practice questions, any material for the practice questions. Suppose today, network scale loss was done, kitchen of loss was done. On the same topic, CRQ practice questions will be posted. 
the immediate day solutions will be given by the faculty dears 100 plus tests and all india 10 all india mock gate exams 10 all india mock gate exams dear almost all the students in india they will be getting this mock gates and you will be checking your performance in those mock gate exams journey with your mentor sir to crack a competitive exam like gate for sure require a mentor here veda gate academy all the faculties will mentor you and make you success lastly subject wise doubt solving groups subject wise doubt solving groups sir i can openly say i can challenge this in complete india no institute will give you a fact subject wise doubt solving groups here in a group where faculty will be there if you post any question instantly faculty will reply to your question so that your doubt will be solved on the same day so now let me explain the weightage of each subject for respective branches ec and electrical so this is what the weight is sir sir complete engineering we have divided into three categories basic subjects core subjects and the general subjects general subjects in sense non technical gate exam is for 100 marks dear right yes out of this 30 marks goes for basic subjects non technical subjects basic subjects yes 35 marks what are basic subjects here Network analysis, control systems, EMTL, digital logic, and microprocessor. For which the weightages are like this: eight to ten marks. Networks, eight to ten marks. Control systems, ten to twelve marks. EMTL, and six to eight marks. Digital logic and microprocessor. Out of this thirty-five marks, just if you score the marks like this, out here, seven marks, seven marks, seven marks, and seven marks, you will be getting some twenty-eight marks. You will be getting some 28 marks, which is close to some 75% yes. Similarly, in the core subjects, core subjects like EDC, analog electronics, signal systems, and communication. Here, out of this, in a similar way, please, 7, 7, 7, 7. You will be getting some 28 marks, which is again some 75% plus. Sir, so coming to non technical subjects, mathematics is for 15 marks. English is for 5 marks, general aptitude is for 10 marks. Out of the 30 marks, if you can score some 20 marks plus, come on, yes, please check what is your total marks. 28 plus 28, 56, 56 plus 20, you will be getting 76 marks here. If you are getting 76 marks, your rank is going to be less than 100. Sir, I can share you 2021 gate result. JNTU Kakinada student, student with the name Sairam, he is Veda Gate Academy student. He has secured All India 35th Gate Rank with the marks of 65 marks. 65 marks he got All India 35th Gate Rank, dears. Hope you are reading the point. Okay, just if you score 7, 7, 7, just work for 70% of the engineering, sir, you will be getting some 75 marks plus in the gate. Similarly, let us see the subject wise weightage of electricals. Right. So, these are what the basic subjects similarly categorized like basic, core subjects, and the general subjects. Basic subjects here network theory, networks, control systems, signal systems, EMF, DLD, and microprocessor. Here, one more subject for electrical students has added the basic subjects, which is signal systems similarly sir if you can score 70 percent of the marks you will be getting some 28 marks plus 28 marks plus similarly in core subjects yes i agree political students core subjects are more power systems electrical machines power electronics electrical and electronic measurements sir coming to electrical and electronic measurements i used to teach that subject the weightage is less but interview point it is very important sir very very important interview point of view similarly here if you can score some six to seven marks in each subject you will be getting some 28 marks plus as like earlier in the basic subjects you just general subjects if you can score some 20 marks plus you will be getting some 76 marks again your rank is going to be less than 100 come on sir don't feel get a toughest exam no 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 get is not all the toughest exam it is just a mind game dears it's a logical exam sir just a mind game hope you are getting the point right yes sir now i invite 
my co-director Shivram Krishna on the stage, please. Thank you, Sham sir, for inviting me. You please carry on. Hello, students. Welcome to Veda Gate Academy. This is Shivram sir, completed M.Tech from IIT Bombay in Systems and Control Engineering Department, and having six years of industrial experience and eleven years in Gate as well as Engineering Services for Control Systems and Electrical Machine subject. Before going to see the preparation strategy for ECE as well as electrical students, I would like to ask a simple question: How many of you are feeling gate is very tough exam? Can we say gate is tough exam? To be frankly speaking, gate is not at all a tough exam. If you take a simple analysis, let me consider ECE students. In general, every year one lakh students, ECE students, are going to apply for this gate exam. One lakh students. So that means, can I say the competition is among those one lakh students? No, not at all, right? If you clearly focus on those one lakh students, out of one lakh, nearly fifty percent. That means around fifty thousands of students. They will think that gate is very similar to their same exams. What we will do in our same exams? In general, during our same exams, we are doing one day batting. Am I correct or not? That means day before the exam, we are going to start our preparation for that particular subject. And we will finish three or four units of that subject. We will mug up and we will dump in the exam. Am I correct or not? The same thing these fifty thousand students are also following. They are starting their preparation best before ten days or one month before the gate exam, because our gate exam consists of around ten subjects. Instead of one day, they are going to start their preparation ten days before or one month before. If you start your preparation ten days or one month, you cannot even qualify in the gate exam. Seriously, you cannot able to qualify in the gate exam. That means the competition now is reduced to only fifty thousand students, not among one lakh. Again, out of these fifty thousand students, nearly thirty thousand students are going to prepare only few subjects, which are very easy. Okay, which are very interested to their respective knowledge. So, out of these fifty thousand, only thirty thousand students are going to prepare. We have few subjects. That means around four to five subjects out of ten to twelve subjects in our gate exam. So if you prepare or focus only on four easy subjects, then definitely you can qualify in the gate exam. But our aim is not to simply qualify in the gate exam. What is our aim? We need to prepare the gate exam, or we need to get a gate rank in such a way that we are going to get M Tech admission in top most IITs, as well as we need to get a prestigious jobs in. Uh, prestigious companies like Navratna, Maharatna, and uh, uh, kind of APSU companies. If you can able to achieve that kind of goal, then definitely you are going to success in your career, right? So that means now, if you clearly focus, can I say the competition is among one lakh students? No, not at all. So the real competition is among only twenty thousand students, and these twenty thousand students definitely they are going to. Put their hard work, smart work, and they are going to continuously prepare daily six to eight hours in a day, at least before six months of the gate exam. Generally, the gate exam is going to be started in the month of February, first week of Saturday Sunday or second week of Saturday Sunday. And most of the students they are going to start their preparation in the month of August or September. And seriously, this is the correct time for you to start your preparation towards the gate exam. Okay, so in order to Crack any kind of gate, a uh, competitive exam. Not only gate. If you want to crack any kind of competitive exam, the three things you have to keep in mind is first one, you need to have a strong determination, strong goal towards your career, and second one is you need to prepare a proper strategic plan towards achieving this goal, and third one is apart from preparing a strategic plan, the main important thing is execution of that plan. Without execution, if you are thinking about all your goals, and if you are preparing a random strategy, then you cannot able to qualify, or you cannot able to crack that particular competitive exam. So not only this gate, if you are taking any kind of competitive exam, try to keep these three points in mind. You will have a strong determination or strong goal towards your career, and you have to prepare a, a proper strategic plan, and you have to execute that plan properly. So here, our Veda Gate team are going to prepare one of the. A basic preparation strategy for our ECE students as well as electrical students by keeping in mind that we are going to complete the entire syllabus in depth of entire ECE as well as uh, EEE students within 135 days for ECE students and within 150 days for our electrical students. Okay, so within 135 days, if you can able to follow our strategy, then definitely you are going to complete all your gate syllabus. 
and for triple e students if you spend 150 days with us by following our strategies definitely you are going to crack any this kind of competitive exam right so without wasting the time let me start the preparation strategy for our ec students so these preparation strategies for our ec as well as electrical students we have prepared by considering all the inputs of our expert faculties and by keeping in the some points in mind that first one you need to be very uh, need to get a strong foundation in the basics so that is the reason first we are going to start with the basic fundamental subject the second one is if you are having thorough with this basic subject then the knowledge of this basic subject will be useful for the upcoming subjects so first we are keeping a basic subject and the second one is we are going to give the application subjects of this basic and the third important point we are keeping is scoring of those subjects in the gate exam and the difficulty level of those subjects in the gate exam. So we have prepared in such a order that if you can able to follow that particular order, definitely you can able to enjoy learning the subject and you won't get a uh, uh, feeling of uh, gate is very tough exam. Okay, right. Trust me, we are with you. Now, let me take the first subject. So from the day one, we are going to start with a fundamental subject of our EC as well as Tribly, that is network analysis. Okay, because networks analysis is a very easy subject and foundation for our basic electrical as well as EC students, which is also having a weightage of around 8 to 10 marks in our gate exam. After finishing, it will take around 13 days to complete this network subject. And after finishing of 13 days, we are going to start next very important two subjects for our especially EC subject. That, uh, that is one is EDC, second one is ele analog electronics. Because EDC and analog electronics will have highest weightage subjects for our EC students, which is having around 20 plus marks in our gate exam. Okay. So, by the way, what is the meaning of completion of the subject networks? So, we are preparing a strategy in such a way that, okay, so daily we are giving, as Shamsar told, daily we are giving 6 to 8 hours of classes. And after finishing of every class, you have to write a synopsis points of those classes followed by you have to do the practice of CRQ questions that is provided to you and every week you must have to write the weekly basis exam and after finishing of the entire course we are going to provide the last 20 years gate papers with solutions so you have to practice all those last 20 years gate papers and we are providing extra practice material for you okay so that you can able to practice those questions if you can able to do these tasks then only we can say your preparation towards that particular subject is finished have you understand what I am conveying? Right. So, if you are taking the next subject, okay, so analog circuits or analog electronics, that means within 27 days, you are going to get 30 plus marks. If you prepare networks, EDC and analog electronics. And to be frankly speaking, what is the qualifying mark for our EC students? The qualifying mark in the gate exam for our EC students is only around 26 to 28 marks max. That means in order to qualify in the gate exam, you need not to touch even the remaining subjects what I am going to explain. You can able to, if you can able to concentrate only on network CDs and analog electronics, that is sufficient to qualify in the gate exam. But as I said, our aim is not to simply qualify in the gate exam. Our aim is to achieve MTech admission in IITs. Our aim is to achieve PSU jobs in Navaratna, Maharatna and Miniratna companies. Are you following? Right. So, if you take the next subject, what we are introducing is digital electronics and microprocessor, which is also very, very important subject for our EC students, also having equal weightage as the remaining subjects, which is having around 9 to 10 marks. And after that, we are introducing general aptitude, okay, which consists of logical reasoning, quant, English and verbal, which, uh, which is having a weightage of around 15 marks in our gate exam, okay. By this aptitude, we are going to get 50% of our gate marks. Within 53 days, we are going to score 50 marks. Okay. So, the next subject is uh, we are introducing the signals and systems and control system subject. Okay. So, the control systems is very, very important, which is also having a weightage of around uh, 8 plus marks and signals and systems is also having a weightage of 8 plus marks because these signals and systems and control systems will have some common link. Okay. That is nothing but Laplace transforms. Once if you are thorough with Laplace transforms, uh, it is very easy for us to understand control systems as well as signals and systems. And after that, we are focusing on the next basic uh, core subject of our ECE that is nothing but communications, followed by the last subject is engineering mathematics. Because engineering mathematics every year will have a weightage of 15 marks up to 2019. And in 2020, they have reduced the marks from 12 to 13, from 15 to 
up to 12 to 13 marks they are giving okay so in engineering mathematics also we are uh, our faculty core faculty are going to explain in such a way that even if you are a lateral entry student you can easily score out of uh, 13 marks you can easily score 10 marks okay so this is about the preparation strategy for our ec students let me come to the preparation strategy of our uh, so this is apart from this you will have emtl subject also with this emtl you can score total 100 marks okay so we can able to score total 100 marks in the gate also. so this is the flow of subjects what we are going to introduce in our, in our veda gate academy okay so if you can able to trust us okay and if you can able to follow these kind of flow of subjects then definitely you can able to learn the basics as well as you can easily score the qualifying mark as well as you can able to easily score the marks where you can able to get your ranks or seat in IITs as well as PSU jobs. So let me try to come to the next one preparation strategy for our electrical students. Even for our electrical students also in order to understand electrical machines as well as uh, power systems you require a basic knowledge of network analysis. In network analysis, you have three phase circuits, AC circuit analysis. And if you are having a fundamental knowledge about these three phase circuits as well as AC circuit analysis, then we can able to enjoy electrical machines as well as power systems. So that is the reason we are starting with the first subject networks, which is also having a very high weightage for our electrical students, which is 8 marks. Next, we are going to introduce the analog subject. So most of our electrical students, we are not going to prepare this analog subject. But trust me, Analog subject is also having a very high weightage for our electrical students as well as the kind of questions or the kind of questions are very moderate. So you won't find very depth or uh, depth of the questions what you are going to find in our ECE students. Okay, So you can easily uh, get 11 marks if you are putting your efforts towards the preparation of analog electronic subject. Okay, Don't neglect this subject. Trust me, you can easily score 11 marks in this particular subject. Right. So the next subject what we are introducing is the machines one. Okay, machines one means basically we have splitted our machines into four parts. First one is transformers that is comes under machine one, and each machine will have a equal weightage. So that is the reason we are splitting into four parts and we have introduced in machine one. And after that, the next subject is control systems. Okay, because it is also having a very high weightage of around nine to ten marks. By 41 days, you are going to finish all these four subjects, okay? And after that, by 47th day, we are going to finish the aptitude. So, total how many marks we can able to score? 40 plus marks. For ECE students, the entire syllabus is going to finish within 135 days. Whereas, for our triple students, the next subject is signals, controls and the signals, followed by we are having missions too. In this missions too, we are going to introduce induction missions. Because transformers basics are helpful to understand the induction machines. So we are introducing machines. And followed by the next one is uh, again the machines 3. That is nothing but DC machines. Okay. And uh, later we are introducing power electronics. This is also one of the very important subject for our electrical students. In terms of, okay, in terms of the PSU companies where we are going to work on uh, power electronics and drives. As well as for MTech admissions. If you want to opt for some of the specialization then the better choice for our electrical students is power electronics because uh, the kind of research nowadays uh, which is going on in this power electronics is very high. So you will have a lot of opportunities once if you pursue your MTech uh, in power electronics specialization. And also it is having a very good weightage in the gate which is carries around 8 plus marks. And the next subject is uh, we are having power systems too. Again the power system is also split into 4 parts. Power system 2 is nothing but this is one of the important concept which is nothing but power transmission and distribution, okay. And after that, we are going to introduce machines for the last machine that is nothing but synchronous machine. If you see the weightage of any one machine, if you are taking each, each, each machine is also having around a weightage of 3 to 4 marks. That means on an average, we are going to get around 12 to 16 marks from the machine subject. And uh, after that, we are introducing power systems 1. Power system 1 is nothing but it is a power system analysis. Okay, lower flow analysis and all those stuff will be coming under power system 1. And uh, later we are introducing mathematics also having a weightage of around 12 marks. And by this time, after 130th day, we are going to score out of 100 marks, we can able to score 85 plus marks. And later the less weightage we'll have for EMF, electromagnetic field theory. And DLD is also having a little weightage for our EC, uh, triple E students compared to ECE. 
and the next last uh, measurement subject so even though the number of marks which are coming in the gate exam is very less but measurements is very very helpful for interview questions in most of the psu companies while attempting a technical interviews they will ask the questions from measurements so our respective faculty is covered all the kind of interview questions which are coming in the measurement subject okay right next the uh, next one is you will have power system 3 and 4 that is nothing but 3 is nothing but uh, you will have protection 4 is nothing but generation and economic load dispatch which are having less weightage so that is the reason we have kept it the last and by this time you are going to score all 100 marks now if you consider within 150 days we are going to complete the entire syllabus with in depth of the subjects and with uh, daily practice questions or crq questions and weekly exams as well as we are providing the last 20 years gate papers as well as we are also introducing the extra practice questions okay so this is about the brief idea about the preparation strategy and if you can able to follow in this manner okay from which date Okay, so we are even giving the number of days that are required to finish the each and every part of the subject. So if you follow this preparation strategy, then definitely you can able to crack the eight exam within these coming six months. Okay, and this is about the preparation strategy. Now, in order to the three things what I have told you previously at the starting of this session is first you will have a strong determination, and the second one is you need to prepare a strategic plan. As a Veda Gate te team, we are introducing this strategy and you need not to put any efforts to plan for the strategic plan okay so we are preparing the strategic plan for you so the next thing is you need to execute this plan now in order to execute this plan what are the steps you have to follow how to execute this plan in a proper manner all these things will be explained by our senior director mr sai prasad sir now i am inviting mr sai prasad sir to hand over this session thank you all the very best thank you for inviting me shivram yeah please carry on Students, I hope you enjoyed the introduction session by Sham Sharma sir and uh, preparation strategy given by Shivaramakrishna sir. Very well. Now, plan is one way, execution part is the other way and which is more important. Yeah, after giving a plan, executing it perfectly till the destination reaches will be the way to get you the best result. Now, let me help you. What is your part, your role to execute this plan? to get the successful result from the gate 22 yeah so here stick and stick to the plan given and we have given uh, 135 days for ece 150 days for triple e a systematic plan of working with the subjects according to the weightage according to the load of uh, uh, the topics given and we have structured an, uh, a very good plan for you and you must be very strict and stick to it until the completion of the last day and then solving CRQ in time. Uh, as soon you listen the class, so we have given basic model questions uh, and are followed by the class. Basic model questions, which you can solve it immediately by the class knowledge. CRQ classroom questions are there followed by the class, solve it immediately. And uh, now and then we have structured quiz programs. A quiz is what conducted in our app where you can just solve the quiz program to get more thorough you know, knowledge with the uh, uh, concepts what you learned and as after that you will have a test series followed by and the previous gate questions to our material and we'll have a complete uh, mock test series of 10 name gate exams uh, uh, in all Indian level to conduct on and then followed by a fast track revision uh, at uh, almost at the end of January I can say so just before going to the gate examination uh, we take uh, guest paper solving that's you call it as fast track revision by the complete team of faculty all the 10 faculty will be involved in dealing with the fast track revision to help you even if the paper goes tougher paper goes deeper and you'll be able to attend by the time you would have been completed your preparation and then a fast track revision by the faculty team helps you a lot to go with guest paper solving then after be cool and very stable to give you the final gate examination along with the plan of 135 days for ECE 150 days for triple e and you must be able to execute yourself very strictly the plan implementation till the destination and then here one other important point i forgot to update in the previous slide that's what uh, clarifying the doubts uh, in a regular basis being in touch with the faculty example and you have given a test of 100 marks and you scored a shoe 85 marks maybe 
85 is excellent score i agree and you would stand a stopper but don't forget that you did not score 15 marks you missed scoring 15 marks like how if i given 10 examination and in all the 10 examinations maybe 10 15 10 15 here and there the marks i could not score and some questions i could not attend if i don't practice them again if i leave them i am not sure maybe if all these missing parts which i could not attend in the regular exams uh, comes in the final examination i would be a failure even after preparing a so uh, and a longer in the journey so remember it's very important to solve the questions which you could not solve in the regular examinations on the same day in the same week because you scored 85 that's not important you missed 15 percent that is important so please check it at that part always the questions which you could not solve it you solve it again going through the key going through the solutions uh now be in touch with the faculty for a doubts clarification go through the solution videos but somehow make sure you are perfect throughout the question paper that's a very important step to win in the competitive examinations now the topic here is balancing the time and load and uh, any task we take or uh, time and destination so where am i beginning how much time do i have in my hand how much load in my hand based on that per day uh, i mean number of hours or what you need to prepare what you want to warm up all this can be planned in your mind so based on the time to the destination and the load what i have to prepare i must uh, structure myself you know a, a strategy of my own uh, to go with the best one a teacher may say our institution may say uh, the plan on themselves and you know, a plan keeping all the and our students in consideration but you may have your own strategy your own plan in the mind just think on so these parameters will help you a lot to structure your own plan for the schedule given one is number of days left to reach your target and number of subjects what you have to practice and you have your capability how many hours a day you can how are you habituated may you can extend a bit uh, example previously you are habituated to work for 8 to 10 hours a day maybe you can extend for one or two hours but not more than that because you are habituated your habit is also an important parameter here so there what i said your capability and your strength in the subjects maybe if i have 10 subjects in the gate examination uh, five to six i am very stronger for three to four i am weaker that you need to consider in how many subjects i am stronger and then your target and what your target and you want to score how many marks you want to score uh, maybe 30 40 50 60 i you want to get a higher education seat or you want to get a scientific job or you want to get a particular iit the particular course and uh, how much uh, score that iit requires for an entry how many marks you need to score to get into all this you need to you know get into the mind to you know structure your plan so that's what i said your target i repeat number of days left in your hand number of subjects what you have to prepare your capability per day working hours and then your strength in the subject and then your target target is very important and uh, you don't work according to your feeling or uh, your uh, will and wish and always you know work for the target that's most important thing and majority of engineers 80 to 90 person works according to their will and wish by not keeping the target in the mind <coughs> sorry but always keeping the target in the mind makes you cherishing to the get the best of your goal so keeping the target in the front angle remaining parameters in the secondary and then decide the structure of your plan to get into your journey based on that upon the above decision decide sorry the parameters decide the number of subjects what you want to practice out of 10 may you not be able to practice all the 10 subjects and you can skip one or two nothing wrong in that <clears throat> how many subjects you wanted to practice and number of topics in each subject uh, an example if a subject has eight topics may all eight topics not important in the gate examination how many topics you wanted to prepare and then areas to practice of course whichever the areas are more frequently covered in the gate exam are the highlighted ones to go on so like how number of subjects to practice number of topics in a subject to practice areas in the subject to practice are to be structured on the paper i repeat plan and execution part you must always put on the paper and try because you have a limited amount of time in the hand as my colleagues explained and a five to six month span in the hand to win the gate exam of gate 22 as gate is not tougher until your plan is tougher 
and if you could plan such a easiest way and always be strict to her to travel in the journey yeah i am sure being an average student do within the 6 months of time if the plan is properly followed you will win to score 50 to 60 marks in the gate exam touching nids and iits yeah we have enough examples from our student community yeah and uh, come back to speak about where to focus and what to omit and this is the most important uh, you know point where everyone need to practice on especially uh, while you are working with uh, competitive examinations see for example if i have two years time in my hand to give the examination what i am planning and i'm cool i don't need to omit anything and i'm I, i'm i can go to extremes of every topic in deep of it to get my excellency out of my potential but if i have limited amount of time and this is very important <coughs> so focus on important topics in the subject important topics important subjects high scoring in gate see important by subject example electronics and communications edc and analog signals and communications are said to be the core important modules similarly triple e power systems power electronics machines and all these are the core modules to get into the subject of electrical engineering like how importance by topic importance by subject need to be focused very much high scoring in gate as we have already given an analysis what subjects are scoring <coughs> how many marks in the gate exam and you need to always focus high scoring subjects you know with a good amount of time and then regular and frequently asked subjects regular and frequently asked topics to be practiced very much and then what your favorite uh, for example every engineer of ec triple e mix civil and everyone will have some favorite subjects of uh, his branch and uh, he feels sorry he feels easy in them and he likes to get in deep of it like how uh, whatever the subjects your favorite are get deep into it to get the best in it and then you feel easy and comfortable whatever the subjects you feel easy and comfortable go with the best in similarly if you focus on these ones you need to omit unimportant topics unimportant subjects lengthy and less weightage example if a subject or a topic is so lengthy but in the gate exam it has a very less weightage so why do you need to waste with waste you <coughs> time to become an expert in this span of short time sorry may need not to right so time is shorter topic is lengthy and the scoring less so i don't need to you know practice that and rarely given it is not uh, frequently given in the gate exam and it's not your favorite and uh, you're not getting the interest or feel similarly feeling tough about that these parts you can omit still become successful in the gate examination because the topper itself is always 80 plus in the gate exam so 15 to 20 and a marginary uh, value is already there over itself so even if you practice for 80% of syllabus and score 60% of that i am sure crossing 50 above you would win the best of gate please always remember that and winning in the gate exam doesn't mean it scoring 100% and you don't need to score 100% and to win the gate examination let me show you uh, the analysis i can say the statistics uh, scoring how many marks and you'll be able to get the best of your settlement in the gate exam <coughs> here are the topic scoring 30 to 40 marks in the gate exam scoring 30 to 40 marks in the gate exam and this topic been explained by sham sharma even in the syllabus weight is part uh, distributing sorry you know distinguishing the topics like basics and core and uh, general you remember general of 30 marks basics of 35 marks core of 35 marks out of 100 and success of gate always begins by 30 to 40 marks and if you're scoring 30 to 40 marks in the gate exam your mtech seat is assured in the university or in the top private engineering college with 12000 stipend per month successful it is just a pass mark not even an engineering pass mark engineering pass mark is around 35 to 40 i think in the national level competitive exam gate success always begins with 30 to 40 marks scoring so you don't need to score 100% of marks to win the gate exam it begins with 30 to 40 and i don't want you to you know uh, be happy with 30 to 40 but i'm just telling 30 to 40 is just not uh, a low score yeah <clears throat> come back to 40 to 50 is scored and you'll be raising yourself 
and your gates will be opened with MTech in NIT. NIT, National Institute of Technology, welcomes you to get into MTech uh, with your uh, specialization, what you feel to, brand specialization of ECE, or Triple E, whatever you wish to, scoring 40 to 50 marks, MTech with NIT, some NIT. Scoring 50 to 60 marks, MTech with IIT, some course, whatever you want out of your uh, branch uh, EC and Triple E. So, I repeat, 30 to 40, MTech with University, 40 to 50, MTech with NIT, 50 to 60, MTech with one of the IIT. And uh, C, scoring 50 to 60 percent of marks in the gate exam, your dream gates are opened with IITS. Thank God. And you remember an intermediate, plus one, plus two, JA mains and AAEEE, the toughest examinations with the lacks of competitions to get into uh, IITs and IITs for uh, higher education BTEC. But here, the same kind of entry in IITs and NITs for higher education after BTEC open the doors with hardly 50% of marks from the gate examination. But there in JE mains and AAEEE, scoring 90 and above percent, yeah, that was the possibility to get into NITs and IITs. But here, scoring 50 to 60 percent of marks in the gate exam, welcoming you to open the doors with IATs and NITs. Great. I would say gate from engineering is the easiest way to get into IATs and NITs than J mains and AAEEE yet plus one and plus two. Don't you think so? Yes. After this, scoring 60 to 70 marks in the gate examination, and you were you were a hundred plus ranker, and M Tech and IAT of your own choice. Uh, just come by one by one, 30 to 40, University MTech, 40 to 50, NIT MTech, 50 to 60, one of the IIT, 60 to 70, MTech in the best IIT of your own choice, your own choice of branch. Uh, there are three things. One is institution specific. Second is branch specific, sorry, subject specific. Uh, third one is institution as well as subject. Uh, one case, best institute, all the courses are good over there. Best course, it is good at an institute. A third combination, best course and best institute. That's a rare responsibility. That will be in your hand if you could score 60 to 70 marks in the gate examination. Come back to 70 to 80, PSU jobs in the hand, MTech with the top IIT and the 1 to 100 rank. You could see that. So, the way you get in. 70% to 80% on the gate exam, you are a dream national topper of 1 to 100 gate rank. You know, such a proudful achievement. You know, you, your doors are open for any of the top institution of your choice, of course. And then, 80 to 90, super top, the whole world is in your hand. And you would be standing with 1 to 10 rank. Super top, the world in front of you. So, in the past experience of uh, gate examination of years of time, I could see the students who are given six months preparation, one year preparation, short even, with the, you know, uh, with the sticking with the, a systematic plan what they made, eight to ten hours a day. Yes, they were one shot of winning the gate aspirants. That is how I'm telling. It doesn't make any sense of how much time you have in the hand. It makes a sense of how much serious you are, how much focused you are. 22 years of your journey of uh, education and four years of engineering journey. Might you could not get into the best core job, but this 135 days for ECE, 150 days for Tripoli, and the additional support, additional uh, practice, the plan, added effort, well, I'm sure by the end of March ending, the result announcement, counselings happens and settlements happens, you would be the happiest one in the engineering field. If I, you can focus, well, the best one. So, I repeat, 30 to 40 entries to university. 40 to 50 entries to NIT, 50 to 60 entries to IIT, 60 to 70 top IIT, 70 plus 100, 1 to 100 rank, 80 plus 1 to 10 rank. And this is how your uh, successful scenario made. And uh, admission to master's, admission to MTech, admission to MTech, PhD, uh, doctorate, dual degree, and uh, scientific companies, the jobs into DRDO, ISRO, BARC, uh, I'm an RCI, and majority of the companies. And I could say the public sector brands like BHL, AZIL, NFCL, NTPC, NACL, IOCL, and HIL, HCL, BDL, BEL, and Airport Authority of India, Gas Authority of India, Steel Authority of India, Wysak Steel Plant, the powerful companies, and including the state government exams like Genco, Transco, Discom, and almost I could say 
a variety of streams, almost 8 to 10 uh, different platforms welcoming the students of engineering through the gate examination. So, gate exam is not tougher. For you, it is not tougher to win if you don't have the plan with you in the hand. If you have a perfect plan with your hand, in the hand, and someone to drive you in the journey, and I am sure you get the best out of your settlement. So, come back to speak everywhere through higher education, and you have a government support. MTech, 12,500 plus stipend per month. Masters, 30 plus thousand per month. Doctorate degree, PhD, uh, 35 to 70,000 per month. And you have even Prime Minister Research Fellowship for stipend. Scholarship is also given for PhD holders after, I know, MTech and PhD entries into the best it. Government of India is also focusing the students who are coming for higher education to welcome them with the best support of scholarships. Always try to utilize that. A part of this and your uh, hard-earned effort behind you will always drive you to get the best of. Yeah, and you have the test practice given by us, topic-wise examinations. Uh, see, I told you after you listen the class, CRQ is there behind classroom practice questions and a basic model. Quiz program with better level to give you a right analysis of previous gate and the sample gates and topic wise examinations, subject wise examinations. Topic completed, take topic wise test. Subject completed, take subject wise test. And half the journey is done right from November somewhere. Start the journey with the all Indian mock examinations, three exams in November, three exams in December, four in January will always push you ahead to with the best of gate rank. You don't need to fail. You need to complete whole syllabus to write mock test. No, you don't need to. Maybe five, six, six uh, subjects are completed. Start working with that. Try to analyze your score only with that five, six subjects uh, marks estimation. Uh, don't feel that out of 100, you got only 30 in the beginning. Because you completed only four subjects and you got 30 marks, it is a good score. So, don't worry about the initial score of mock examinations in the beginning. So, you will be improving one by one. Because by the time your syllabus completes, you're perfect to give the exam, right? So, from the first exam, write with a high spirit to check your uh, uh, no, uh, learning power or your practice uh, analysis, how much you know, how much you do not know, and to practice again. So, give uh, CRQ every day, give quiz programs now and then, and practice previous gate questions from the material, and uh, go through the concepts from the classes learned, and then give you a topic-wise test, topic completed, Give your subject right test when subject completed. Start your all Indian mock test from the month of November. Always with the journey of a uh, gate along with the 10 faculty by Veda. And I'm sure you are the best successful candidate. Yes, please. Fast track revision. Uh, may you complete your syllabus by December first week or December uh, ending for electrical for ECE December first week. And then, as after that, just before going to the final exam, as I told you, uh, there will be a 10 days fast track revision. All the 10 faculties will be involved to teach around 8 to 10 hours on the subject, together 80 to 100 hours fast track revision. There, we would make sure always to touch guest papers, the best of our uh, analysis from the past 10 years gate examinations. So, solving that, attending that will always make you, you know, 50% of journey easy with the gate examination. Uh, when 50% of journeys uh, happen to be easy with the plan and classes and practice and others, and the remaining 50% of journey will be completed by attending the fast track revision, will give you the best successful output. Yes, please. Post gate. And after completion of gate examination, your journey is not completed. Uh, till you get uh, gate result in the month of March, uh, somewhere in the middle. As of to the gate result too, we would help you for the post-gate counseling to join with the IITs and IITs for MS and MTech programs, which course is good, which IIT is good, for your rank, where you'll be getting the admissions, how to apply for them, all this will be taken in the guidance. And as well as, if you have uh, some PSU interviews, IIT interviews for higher education, our team will always help you on online, you know, based on the uh, interview dates and the time availability of you to drive you towards technical uh, sessions to get it done. Post-gate counseling, interview guidance specific to the company, specific to the IIT, all this will be taken care after the gate exam due. So, we will be there 
with you in the journey till you reach your destination. Yeah. Assume the complete course of gate with the journey with Veda, Veda Gate Academy, the strongest powerful brand with the, the dynamic teachers, senior most professors, and with a practical drive in the journey, day by day, they'll catch your hand, make you to walk, slowly learn, solve, involve the best on it, with almost around 10 faculty with you in the team, with a great mentor by the subject expert of your branch of engineering. And uh, this way you go, in the market I can say, this complete gate coaching uh, is offered with uh, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 up to even. But without uh, mentorship, without the proper drive, just dumping you the course on you, leaving you on your alone and not to learn in your own style. But here, we are giving a freedom for you to learn. But we are always there to catch your hand when needed and you know, solve your doubt when needed, explain you the concept again when needed. And giving you the access for the classes for uh, enough number of times until you become perfect, day by day, daily basis. So, thereby, this complete course structure with Veda under this pandemic condition, yeah, maybe do charge around 30, 40, 50. I you know the commercial fees, what is there in the market? Veda is never like that. From the beginning, Veda is for a middle class academy. Veda is for, I you know, the ranker choice. So, there how. Uh, to just uh, meet all the middle class uh, uh, parents requirements, affordability, the best affordable price what we decided for this course is just 12,500. Complete course of this 6 to 8 month journey with Veda for gate 22, in the classes as well as uh, CRQs, as well as quiz programs, app accessing, test series, all Indian mock examinations, fast track revision, mentorship, all this together, just we are getting you. 12,500. The offer price for you is 12,500 for the complete course of Gate Achiever. The title itself is Gate Achiever. As soon as you join, we assume that, yeah, your achievement is done. Provided you follow the plan given by us systematically to win the best of your journey. And uh, thank you for attending. And here is the best price as we are given. MRP of this course is 29.5. And the price, special price decided for uh, the engineering completed students to participate in the full time gate program is what just 12,500. Also, giving two installment facility, the first fee to pay is just 5,000 rupees. Enroll yourself, begin a journey. A month time is given again for you to you know, recall the remaining fee and be comfortable to learn. Here, the new batch is starting from for this course. We are starting the new batches from 21st July. 26 July and the last and 1st August. I repeat, 21st July, 26 July, 1st August, the batches to commence, you know, based on your comfortability, enroll immediately, you know, secure your admission and then start learning from that day with a comfortable way. And I'll invite my, you know, fellow faculty of Shivaram and Sham Sharma, who has taken the previous sessions once to, you know, just give you a small final tips and close the deal. Don't delay DS. Let us start your journey with Veda Gate Academy. The preparation strategy which we have given is a very powerful tool. Blindly follow that and we are with you. Uh, students, you are not in the, you are not alone in the journey of Gate for 2022. A powerful team of 10 faculty in the hand and with a complete structured plan is just waiting for you with a price of just 12,500. Just 12,500. Grab up. Within two or three days, begin your journey. Welcome to promote this to your friends of engineering of EC and Triple E. Enjoy the journey and become successful at the top leader with the gate rank. Thank you. All the best to you all. Thank you, DS. All the best. Thank you. All the very best.